Today I want to do a flip through of Science in the Atomic Age. This textbook is $69 new. I did purchase mine used off of eBay and so you can see that it has been used. This is a laboratory based class. So you're going to be doing quite a few experiments in the class. The content that you are going to be studying is the scientific method and experimentation, our model of the atom, elements and compounds, covalent compounds, chemistry and living things, the cell, more on prokaryotic cells, plants, tissues, skin and bones, muscles and blood, respiratory and lymphatic system, digestive and renal system, nervous and endocrine system, organism population and community, ecosystem biome and biosphere. The way this is set up is focusing a lot on experiments and hands-on activities. So experiment does not happen every day. In order to complete this in one year, they recommend that you use it 30 to 45 minutes every day of the week. I did purchase an experiment kit from Rainbow Resources for this just because I wanted to make sure that I had all of the experiment and, uh, materials very handy because one of the reasons that we chose this is the experiments. So let's look at how they recommend you using this book. So there are 16 chapters. Each chapter contains reading and experiments and you're supposed to perform the experiments when they come to you in the reading and not like wait until the end of the week or something. They want you to do it whenever it's, it comes up in the reading. You also have questions that are called comprehension check. These comprehension questions need to be completed before you finish for the day. So let's take a look at a chapter and see what we're talking about. So for chapter two, you're going to have your introduction. They do have the bold words for vocabulary, but you have your introduction. And then when you get down with the first page, they're, they're asking you to do an experiment at this time. And so this is what you'll need. And then they give you the instructions for the experiment. At, once you finish the experiment, there's still more reading to be done for that day. And then you have these comprehension check questions. At the end of this comprehension check is when you're finished for the day and then the next day you will pick up with measuring ratios and it will take you through here and then you can see that you have another experiment for the next day and then you have some more reading and your comprehension check is here. So throughout the day of science is going to be some reading and then experiments and then reading and then comprehension check. There are a total of 58 experiments in this course so you will not be doing an experiment every day. So for this chapter we've um, completed two experiments and now we have reading that we need to do. So this is reading and so we have about what five pages for reading and then you have your comprehension check and that that means that you're finished. So that day you did not do an experiment. And then the next day you will come and you can see that you're going to be doing another experiment that day, a little bit more reading and then your comprehension check. So as you can see, there are some great graphics that they include throughout this book as well. Additionally, they do have some individual scientists names bolded. And again, you will be mixing the experiments with the reading. So it's not going to be all experiments or it's not going to be all reading. If you cannot answer these comprehension check questions, they recommend that you go back to that day's reading and you need to get to the point where you do understand the answers before you move forward with the next day. And then at the end of the chapter, here are your answers to the comprehension check questions. So they don't have those answers immediately um, at your fingertips. You do have to flip the page, but here's like, for example, here's comprehension check question 2.8. And so here would be your answer for that question. And then after those answers, you do have a chapter review at the end of the chapter, and then you move on to the next chapter. This chapter review is really what they want you to understand what they want you to take away from the chapter. The answers for this chapter review will be in your answer key and test. You can see you have defined the following terms and then here are the definitions for those. So for these questions, you do have to look in the answer key and test for the answers to them. And then once you are finished with this chapter review, you should be ready to take the test for chapter two. So here is your test for chapter two and then you can see that your answers are 
on the next page after your test. Now, something else that I wanted to mention is regarding the workbook. I did not purchase the workbook because you can get a free PDF download from their website and then just print out the workbook. One thing to note about the workbook is that once you get past page 172, it's basically just blank pages. And that is for your laboratory experiments. And so I purchased the science notebook. This is what we're going to use for our laboratory experiments. And we're going to keep it all in here versus those blank pages that are included in the workbook. What the workbook consists of are daily assignments, worksheets, documenting your experiments. This is, just, is an explanation of it. And then your laboratory notebook. So I think that you go um, up into the, three, the page 300s or something with just those blank pages for your laboratory notebook. And so your daily assignment, this explains what I was mentioning earlier in the flip through of the actual textbook where they want you to work through the read and then your experiment, read a little bit more and then the comprehension check. That's what they are talking about with your daily assignments. One thing that I do want to note is that in here they do have some pink boxes. There are not a lot of them throughout, but if something is in a pink box, then they want you to make sure that that is memorized. This is considered to be an extremely important fact and that needs to be memorized as you're working through this science curriculum. So next in this workbook are the worksheets. Well, the worksheets are really these comprehension check questions. So you can see um, question 1.1, you're admiring a flower garden, which of the following questions can be directly studied by science. So in comprehension check, 1.1, you're admiring a flower garden. Which of the following questions can directly be studied by science? So this really is a place for your student to be able to write out the answers for these comprehension check questions. Now, the questions in the worksheet are separated by chapter, not necessarily by page. So you can see we have 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 here. Um, if you look, you can see 1.4 is here and then 1.5 is the last one in this first chapter. So this last comprehension check question in chapter one um, comes down on this page. So your worksheets truly are those comprehension check questions and your worksheets go up through page 171 of this workbook. And so these are all your comprehension questions. And then you'll talk about the documenting of experiments. So this is important because it does explain exactly what they are anticipating you doing with documenting those experiments. And again, we're going to do that in this. So now let's look at the end of this book. You can see that here's a glossary, which are these bold faced words throughout the text. And then you will have an Appendix A and Appendix B. This Appendix A is those important things that need to be remembered. So the things that were in the pink boxes that are supposed to be memorized is included in this Appendix A. Appendix B are the experiment supplies needed for each chapter. So they do have it broken down by chapter for the materials that you'll need for those experiments. And again, remember experiments are extremely important in this curriculum.